Few people know that Moscow, which now officially has more than 12 million inhabitants, has a huge amount of radioactive waste left over from the first years of the thoughtless Soviet nuclear arms race, when the capital was actively working on building nuclear charges and the Soviet missile and nuclear shield. Until the 1960s, no one thought about the real danger of radionuclides and there were no regulations for their storage and disposal. Isotopes were stored in laboratories, factory shops, and the spent material was buried in vacant lots or in forests, which were then outside the city limits, disregarding safety rules and not marked on maps in order to maintain secrecy. But later, with the growth of the capital, residential complexes were and are being built in place of such dirty wastelands and the surprise uncovered during construction never stops the builder who faces the risk of multi-million losses from the mothballing of the construction site. Thus, the falling dumps turn out to be in the yards of houses under children's playgrounds or even under the foundations of multi-story buildings. By now, more than 1,200 sources of radiation have already been found in Moscow, and uncontrolled construction of mansions in former industrial zones and dumps only aggravates the situation. Each year up to 80 new radiation hotspots are identified and eliminated in the capital. There are also more than 20 potentially hazardous organizations with nuclear reactors or working with radioactive elements, MEPHI, Polymetal Plant, Kurchatov Institute, etc., and more than 2,000 firms using ionizing radiation sources, medical equipment for X-rays, etc., in the city. Today we have collected for you all known for doubtful from the point of view of radioactive safety places in Moscow. 1. Moskvoriki Sabirovo. This district recently made headlines in the city media due to the construction of the southeastern cord bridge over the Moskva River at the site of a dumping site for radioactive uranium and thorium ores that were dumped on the river slope by the nearby Moscow Polymetallic Plant, owned by Rosatom, during the 1930s to 1970s. For a long time radioactive substances were contaminated and the territory of the plant, but at the end of the 90s it was cleaned up, but the dumping ground behind the fence is safely forgotten, and in fact near is Kalamenskoy Park and the youth housing estate Saburovo. Moskvoriki ICD platforms are 20 meters away from the danger zone. The difficulty of this site is the steepness of the bank and the volume of soil. Now on the dump, slightly covered with earth, in some places phonets up to 1000 microrowenkin h with the norm of 20 microrowenkin h Building on this territory without removing the contaminated soil can lead to its movement on a steep slope and washing out by the waters of the Moscow River or into the nearby courtyards of the houses. Besides the unfortunate dump and the polymetallic plant there are several other potentially radioactive organizations on the territory of the district, the MEPHI Institute, the Center for Nuclear and Radiation Safety, the Bloken Cancer Center and the Institute of Chemical Technology, Knight. 2. Mosrinkin Settlement, New Moscow The former village Troitskoy, which was once owned by Vilina Salty Chika, got its present name after the now-closed plant, which in Soviet times produced medical equipment and X-ray equipment, equipment for which was taken from Germany after the war on account of the reparations. A residential settlement was built for the plant's employees. During the production of equipment radioactive waste was generated as cobalt-60 and cesium-137, which in the 1960s was buried on the industrial site of the plant in the amount of 1,700 cubic meters, and after closure in the 1970s the shop with hazardous production was destroyed and covered with soil. According to some reports, groundwater spread radioactive isotopes to the Cascade of Ponds on the Sosenka River. After the village was included in New Moscow, developers became interested in the area, since Mosrinkin is located very close to the Moscow Ring Road and the Slavyansky Mir metro station, which is currently under construction. In 2014, work was carried out to decontaminate the territory with the organization of the Technopark on the site of the plant. But no one reported the results of the decontamination. 3. Chukino. In a district considered prestigious, do not subside protests against the construction of apartment buildings, residential complex Rodnoy Gorodaktyabrskopol, 
Titroli Quarter on Berzerin and Rasplatina streets on land adjacent to the closed area of the Kurchatov Institute, which in the 1940s to 1950s was developing nuclear weapons and later researches on the use of peaceful atom. Since the 1960s, the Institute has been involved in the maintenance and disposal of nuclear facilities. There are 11 waste dumps with about 10,000 cubic meters of waste on the territory of the facility, but in fact they can be much more, and according to some data, some of the waste was poured directly into the ground. Some of the buildings contain radioactive materials. On the land allocated for housing development there used to be part of the buildings of the Special Design Institute of Instrument Engineering, SNIIP, which also deals with radioactive isotopes. Next door are the Institute of Inorganic Materials, NIIM, with its toxic waste storage facilities and the Medical Biophysical Center, a Ibernasian Federal Biomedical Center, which operates hazardous radiation facilities. 4. Brativo the first microdistrict has a nasty past, built up with typical panel houses in the 1990s, through which the Lyablinskode-Mitrovskia metro line with Borisovo station runs on a shallow ground. It is located on the site of a sort of radioactive dump in the late 80s in the developed sand pit where wastes from the Kurchatov Institute were dumped. But it is not clear how much of it leaked into the nearby Gorodnia River and Borisov Pond. 5. Bogorodsko once upon a time, at the intersection of Rokosovsky Boulevard and Open Highway, there was a towering park, popularly called Green Hill, under which a dump containing radioactive waste containing radium salts, which used to be used to make nighttime clock dials lighting. The ground also contained large amounts of mercury, arsenic, lead, and other harmful substances. They came across them only during the construction of housing in 2008, more than 20 points of elevated radiation up to 3000 MCR slash H were detected. According to the statements of the builder and the authorities, all the waste was removed. Sort of. Now a 30-story premium class residential complex Bogorodsky, with a questionable radiation reputation, stands on the place of the square. It is popularly nicknamed Kaladilnik because of its similar shape. Nearby are the remains of the square on the site of the former dump. P.S. There are also other known radioactive dumps, fortunately they are relatively far away from the dwelling buildings near Paklanea Gora, at the site of the railroad embankment, near the Museum of Military Equipment and Moscow Sorting Station, along the bank of the river like Aborka from Onyega Street. The mounds near the night, in Troparevsky Forest Park, and in Krylatsky. It should not be forgotten that in addition to civilian organizations, radioactive facilities and production facilities are also operated by the Ministry of Defense, of course, keeping information about its laboratories, munitions, and research sites under wraps. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Write in the comments about what else interesting you can tell about this video. See you in the new video.